Roy Rogers was more than just a cowboy actor and singer. He was a legend, a symbol of the American West, and a hero to millions of fans. But there was one thing Roy kept secret for most of his life, a truth only his daughter could confirm after his death. Facts First presents Roy Rogers' daughter confirms what we thought all along. Roy Rogers, the late legend. Roy Rogers was one of the most famous and beloved stars of the golden age of Hollywood westerns. He was born Leonard Franklin Sly on November 5th in 1911 in Cincinnati, Ohio. After moving to California in 1930, Rogers started his musical career as a member of various bands, including the Sons of the Pioneers, which he co-founded with Bob Nolan. In 1938, he adopted the name Roy Rogers when he signed a contract with Republic Pictures to star in his own series of cowboy movies. Roy soon became known as the King of the Cowboys, appearing in over 100 films and numerous radio and TV shows. He often played a heroic character who fought for justice and helped those in need. He showcased his singing talent by performing iconic songs like Cool Water, Tumbling Tumbleweeds, and Happy Trails. Rogers, a lifelong animal lover, was often accompanied by his loyal horse, Trigger, who was called the smartest horse in the movies, as well as his faithful dog, Bullet. He also frequently shared the screen with his beloved wife, Dale Evans, whom he married in 1947 after tragically losing his second wife, Grace Arlene Wilkins, to complications from childbirth. Dale Evans was dubbed the Queen of the West and wrote many songs for their films and shows. Roy Rogers had nine children, three biological and six adopted. Throughout his storied life, he faced several tragedies in his family life, losing two children to accidents and one to illness. Despite these heartbreaking setbacks, he remained devoted to his wife, Dale, until his death July 6, 1998, at age 86. Roy's Adopted Daughter Marion Fleming was a Scottish girl with a remarkable destiny. She was born in an air raid shelter in Edinburgh during World War II and spent her first 12 years in orphanages. She had a talent for singing and performed a song for Roy Rogers and Dale Evans when they visited Dunforth Children's Home in 1954. The famous cowboy couple were so impressed by her stunning voice and vibrant personality that they decided to adopt her and bring her back home to their ranch in California. Marion, who later changed her name to Mimi Swift, became one of the nine children of Roy and Dale. She adapted well to her new life and family, enjoying the love and care of her parents and siblings. She also got to meet many celebrities and travel the world with them. Mimi was especially close to her sister Dodie, who was adopted shortly before her. Mimi meant a lot to Roy Rogers, who considered her his daughter in every way. He often praised her singing ability and encouraged her to pursue it. Over the years, Mimi often sang with Roy, Dale, and their other children at various events and shows. Mimi grew up to be kind, generous, and a humble woman who never forgot her roots. She returned to Scotland several times to visit her birthplace and reconnect with her heritage. She also supported many charitable causes, especially the Happy Trails Children's Foundation, founded by Roy and Dale. She served as president of the foundation board for many years. Mimi passed away January 25th, 2021 at age 80. She left behind three children, six grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, and countless friends who loved her dearly. She also left behind a legacy of joy and inspiration that she inherited from Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. Mimi drew Roy closer to his family. There's nothing more important in life than family, and Rogers knew this invaluable life lesson quite well. Mimi appreciated the opportunity that Roy and Dale gave to her to have a better life and a loving home. She never took their kindness for granted and tried to make them proud. She also bonded with her siblings and became a loyal sister. She had an ethereal voice that impressed Roy when he first met her, so he encouraged her to pursue her talent. He also taught her how to play the guitar and to harmonize with him. This father-daughter team had a special connection through music that lasted until his death. But a shared love and aptitude for music wasn't the only thing that united them. Mimi also respected Roy's values and beliefs. She enthusiastically embraced his Christian faith and his humanitarian spirit, and these connections went a long way. Roy's Financial Struggles Roy Rogers faced several financial challenges in his later career that affected his wealth and status. One of the biggest blows of his career was when he lost his deal with Republic Pictures over a conflict of interest and started his own company that did not do well. 
He also had to compete with other Western stars who had more appeal to the changing audience. Rogers spent a lot of money on properties and collectibles, but he had to sell them to cover his debts and taxes. He also lost money in legal battles and bad investments. While Roy tried to keep up with the trends by making different kinds of movies and TV shows, he was never quite able to recapture his former glory. Despite his financial difficulties, Roy never gave up on his faith and his family. He was a devout Christian who relied on God's grace and guidance throughout his life. He prayed and read the Bible with his wife, Dale. He also attended church regularly and supported various Christian causes. He once said, I've always been a religious person because I'm thankful for all that God has given me. He also considered his family his greatest treasure. He loved his children, biological and adopted, and treated them equally. He also adored his grandchildren and great-grandchildren. To keep his spirits up, he spent quality time with them whenever he could, playing games, telling stories, singing songs, and riding horses. Deathbed Last Words Roy Rogers died July 6, 1998, at his ranch in Apple Valley near Victorville, California. He was 86 and had been suffering from congestive heart failure. At the time of his death, Roy was surrounded by his wife, Dale, and his other family members who loved him dearly. According to some sources, Roy did not do much on his deathbed except rest and pray. He was too weak to talk or to sing, but he still managed to smile and squeeze the hands of his loved ones. Most importantly, he was at peace with himself and his God. His final words were reportedly, I never expected to see you in heaven. He said these touching words to his son Dusty Rogers, who had visited him a few days before he died. Dusty had been estranged from his father for many years due to personal and religious differences, but they had reconciled shortly before Roy's death. Roy's death was mourned by millions of fans around the world, who grew up watching his movies and TV shows. He was praised as a hero, a legend, and an emblematic symbol of the American West. He was also remembered as a kind, generous, and humble man who loved his family and helped many children through his charitable work. His funeral was held on July 11th at Sunset Hills Memorial Park in Apple Valley, where he was buried next to Trigger's remains. The service was attended by hundreds, including several celebrities. Roy Rogers' death in 1998 was met with sorrow and respect by the media and his fellow stars. They honored him as a man who embodied wholesome values and compassion. They also recalled his kindness, generosity, and humility as a person and a philanthropist. Now it's time to hear from you. How do you remember Roy Rogers the most? Let us know in the comments section below.